It's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Together we are going to present a 3D model in augmented reality anywhere we want with no markers necessary. Throughout this video, we will be using a server set up to run HTTPS. If you want some help setting this up for yourself, I have already made two tutorials that should help you do this. One on setting up a local server and another on setting up HTTPS for free on your local network. These are linked in the description. Displaying 3D models in AR is not natively supported by JavaScript. This means we're going to need a third-party library. Luckily, there are some free libraries that do do this. Both AR.js and Model Viewer work great at displaying 3D models in augmented reality. ARJS focuses on marker, coordinate, and image tracking. I've already made a tutorial on marker-based tracking, also found in the description. Model Viewer is a free library developed by Google that lets you drop 3D models right into your environment without the need for any markers. We're going to use Model Viewer so that we can place objects wherever we want. Let's add Model Viewer to our project. Open the file we want to display our 3D model within. I will be using my index.html file. We can pull in the code for Model Viewer by declaring a script source tag. Type caret script, the word type, equals quotes, the word module, then source, equals, and then in quotes paste the following address. I link this down in the description. You may be asking, what is this unpackaged thing I'm adding to my project? Unpackage is a free and open source service that we can use to add third-party code like Google's Model Viewer to our app without having to download the code to our server. With the script source added, we now have Model Viewer ready. We will need a 3D model to display on our device. I will be using a model with the file type .glb. If your desired 3D model is not in a .glb format, you can most likely convert it to .glb using the free software Blender. Maybe someday I will have a tutorial for this as well. We will be using this cute model of a sleeping panda by Pissville. You can download it for yourself on Sketchfab. Sketchfab hosts many free 3D models and paid ones too. Once downloaded, make sure you place the file in a folder accessible by your web server. If you followed my earlier tutorials, this will go into the public folder. Now it's time to add the model to our page. Open up the file we added model viewer to. Let's start by adding a style tag outside the body. This style will be for model hyphen viewer. We want to set the width and height of the model viewer. This is not necessary for it to operate. This just makes it a little easier to see the model in the button that takes us into AR mode. Once we are in AR mode, this will be full screen. For width, I set it to 800 pixels, and height I set to 400, then close the style tag. Next in body, let's set up our model viewer. Create a model-viewer tag. In that tag, let's add the source, src, and then the relative location of our 3D model in quotes. Next line, just type ar. This value shows the button for us to open AR mode. Then we just need to add a closing tag. Now we are ready to test this. Make sure to save your changes, then start your server. Navigate to your server's address on a mobile device with a camera. If you see a warning about a self-signed certificate, you may need to click more information and allow the connection. This is brought up further in my video on setting up HTTPS on your local network. Once you've connected to the site, you should see your 3D model with a small icon in the bottom right. Click on this icon. It should open your camera, revealing your environment. When you tap on the screen, the 3D model should be placed. If it disappears, like it did for me, it may be too big or too small. To fix this, pinch to zoom the 3D model into view, just like you would on a photo or web page. Look at that! Together we used Google's Model Viewer to place a sleepy panda into our environment. 